Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A feature that can improve the speed of company file creation is the ability to copy and paste data into lists within QuickBooks from Microsoft Excel. You can copy and paste data from an Excel worksheet into the customers, vendors, service items, inventory part, and non-inventory part lists. To perform this task, select Lists, Add Edit Multiple List Entries from the menu bar to open the Add Edit Multiple List Entries window. As you can see from the information shown at the top of this window, copying and pasting data into this window from Excel is a three-step process. First, use the List drop-down at the top of the window to select the list into which you want to copy data from the Excel worksheet. After selecting a list, you will see the appropriate columns of information for that list appear at the bottom of the window. All lists contain the name column as that column is used to identify items in the list. Next, you can customize the columns shown in this window to match the columns within the Excel worksheet. To do this, click the Customize Columns button in the upper right corner of the window. In the Customize Columns window that appears, select column names from the Available Columns and Chosen Columns list and click either the Add or Remove buttons to add or remove the desired columns. To reorganize their display, select the name of a column shown in the Chosen Columns list and then click the Move Up or Move Down buttons to move the selected fields up or down within the list. The order in which they are displayed from top to bottom in the chosen columns list is the order in which they will appear from left to right in the window after you click the OK button to approve your changes. After you have the desired columns shown in the correct order within the Add Edit Multiple List Entries window, scroll down the list and click into the next available blank row. Then copy the data from your Microsoft Excel worksheet and paste it into the columns of the blank rows shown within the Add Edit Multiple List Entries window. After you have finished copying and pasting the data, click the Save Changes button to save your new list entries. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.